What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome Shay, back. Trav, Eddie, Lil Trav in the back. Chef Trav. Chef Trav. Chef Trav in the back. <laughs> he's like, I guess he. I guess he don't. Want he to doesn't want to be bothered. You already know it's gonna be an interesting video, so hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, and follow us on the gram too at Shay and Trav. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. I ended up reading this article, right? And yeah. I thought it was very interesting, so I wanted to pose this question to my wife. So the question is, will you marry me again? What? Hmm. If you had to do it all over again, hmm. would you marry your boy again? Hmm. And, and look, I want you to judge me off of some real criteria to okay. me now, you know, cause, cause we've been married for, for some years now. Right. So, so you have enough info about me to be able to adequately say, Man, I think you suck as a husband. Oh, no. Man, you know, I think you're doing pretty good. I would, I would do this again. In front of the whole world. In front of the whole world. I want you to be totally honest. I feel like men always say they want you to be honest, but they really don't. I mean, but, look, but I understand. I, look, I see what you look, say. I have nothing to lose because we already married. It's not like you're going to be like, well, you know, let's annul the marriage. Let's do, you know what I'm saying? And if you say something, like that just means I can just improve, right? Right. Okay. So look, look you, when you pose it like that, this right. is gonna, you're gonna work on improving. I can just improve, you okay. know? So I think it should be interesting for all my married people out there. And then if you're not married and you're watching this video, here's some criteria you can judge your, your significant other by to see if they're married material. Okay. You feel me? I'm nervous. Uh, first off, you know, judging me, and, and at the end of this, I want you to grade me too. Oh, so like judging me, you. yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So look, how would you judge me as a lover? Like what I mean by that is affection, you know, listening to you. Okay. Companionship and just being somebody who who, who you can feel vulnerable with. That's what I'm gotcha. getting at. Okay. So should I be honest, y'all? <laughs> be real, bro. They okay. wanna know. Right. Yo. Like, yeah. Traffic, yeah, be real. Yeah. Can you be vulnerable with this person? Okay. You know? All right. Let me yeah. answer this question to the best of my ability. I feel like, yes, I can be very vulnerable. Yeah. Okay. So throughout the years, y'all know Travis and I, we've been together since we were really young. When yeah. I first met him, I used to, we used to just stand on the phone all night and just talk, 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 talk. Like, oh. like most couples do when they first get together. Right. So I used to tell him everything and I'm used to doing that. And I feel like nothing changed. Mm. I still can tell you everything. I still can talk to you. And as far as she's showing, a lot of affection, things like that. That's a whole nother story. Be real with it. They want to know. They want to know the real. I, mean, I, I want to know the real. I feel like Where can I, I feel like you're not that affectionate. Oh wow! Unless he wants something. <laughs> my rebuttal is this. Okay. I I definitely show affection to my lady. I'm a very affectionate dude. And this is my perspective. I had to mold Shay into being open to receiving my affection. What? Now, I feel like as a woman, um, <laughs> I feel like as a woman that you guys can sometimes mis misconstrue why we're showing affection. Because sometimes I show affection and it's not with the motive of, you know, it's, it's just with the pure motive of showing my love. Like for instance, this morning, you know, I, I went in the bathroom while she was getting ready and gave her a hug and gave her a kiss on her forehead. Just, Babe, just that did not happen. You just said, why am I no. hugging you? That was oh, you sure did. See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I forgot. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> and see, and see, that was just a way of showing her I appreciate you as my wife, as a mother, as my friend. And I had no ulterior motive but to show her that appreciation. So I think sometimes when, as men, as husbands, boyfriends, whatever, when we're showing affection, just be open to receiving it without thinking okay. that there's another motive to it. Yeah. Unless that, unless that man confirms that he right. wants to do whatever So we else. should analyze everything. You should analyze it. over yeah, everything, you, you know. That's a good point. Because I'm gonna be straight up direct when I wanna do something else. But if I'm just showing you love and affection, No, just he's not direct, but that's another video. You're not direct. You're not direct. Okay. It's also okay. <laughs> Bro, straight up tell you okay. what time it is. All right. All right. You know, whatever. All right. So I guess, all right y'all, so don't forget Travis is an attorney. And by the way, he opened his own law firm. Oh, my own law firm too, <laughs> man. I forgot to say, I had had the time to make the announcement, but I opened up my own law firm. Uh, for y'all who've been watching us for as long as know that I'm an attorney. I've been an attorney for years. 
Uh, I practice personal injury law here in the state of Louisiana, um, all throughout the state representing clients. If you want to know more about my practice, hit the link in the description below. It takes you to my website. Yeah, Texas, you're on the way too, because I know we got a lot of people in Texas that watch. So if you ever need me and you're in Texas, that's on the way. Well, wait, so I was saying that before he put in the plug for himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he is an attorney. So everything I answered to, he's going to have a rebuttal. So keep that in mind. Right, right. <laughs> what about the grade? What? How would you grade I'm not giving you a grade. You're not giving me a grade? I think you, need, you deserve a C. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh my God! I, so then, so then, so then, for the ladies out there, for the ladies out there, because I don't want to know. I'm just trying to learn. As a man, how would you like for me to show affection? I guess like a hug every day, maybe every hour. Just a just a hug. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not available every hour. That's <laughs> impractical. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just not here every okay, hour. Okay, well to look. Give you a hug every hour. During the week, on a weekend, a hug every hour. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I love no you mommy. every hour too. No mm -hmm. mommy. Um, maybe a kiss every now and then throughout the day. You get that, okay? I don't get a kiss every every hour. Okay. <laughs> Look, and look. like maybe text messages. Hey, I'm loving you. Shay, we text each other you. all day, no, every day. Just tell me how much you love me on the text message. Shay, all day. All right, all right, y'all. Uh, drop, lady, drop a comment in. <laughs> drop some comments. Like let some us know. hourly stuff. Let us know how y'all want your man to show affection. Uh, y'all just heard Shay. Yeah, know. like um, some, like every day, like, like multiple hugs drop a day, and like hey. Oh. You know, yeah. all right. Don't be trying to pay me no dollar to do. I'll be like, hey, you, you see these two kids, right? Y'all know. What you mean. The next question is, would you marry me again based on me as a father to our two children? So I think this is a very deep question, and yes, I will marry you again as uh, how you are as a father to our children. That was something I had in mind when before we got married. Before I said yes, I was right. like, would he be a great dad? So yes, I will marry you again. Thank you so much. You yeah. know. Uh, fatherhood is, is super important to me. Children need both their parents in their lives to rear them and guide them and impart everything in them that they need to be successful in life. Yeah. And there's no way I can Five. see myself not Five. being in my children's Eight. lives uh, at all. I know, I know, you know, ever, ever. So even when they're they're older. Even when they're older, you know. All right. So look. Anyway, anyway, back to the topic ahead. All right. Would you remarry me again based on how I am as a provider? Yes. Yes, I definitely would. As far as being a provider, I give you an A plus plus. I think you are an excellent provider. I think you. Yeah, boy, been giving that lettuce for a while. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think you are excellent at sharing your wealth. Yeah. And I think you are, I think you're not, I think it's very good that you're not selfish. You're never like, oh, why are you spending so much on Amazon? <laughs> or he never questions me. So I think I like that. Yeah. I like that. I think that's awesome. Yeah. You know, I always feel like you need to be able to take care of your woman, take care of your family. Yep. Uh, you always need to be go get her, go out there and get it. You know, don't, don't wait around on people to give it to you. Don't depend on your woman. Um, don't, you know, n nothing wrong with y'all being a partnership. Totally for that. But uh, but but I I'm you know I still feel that the man should be the provider and yep. that he should be able to take care of his family you know, and his woman and, and that's been my mindset since I was a kid and she when Shay first got with me your boy had a job you know so uh so so I've always been about you know making that money and, and, and uh, giving that bread yeah, and not to. selfish with the bread don't be don't be stingy with the bread yeah would you would you remarry me uh, based on how I am as a supporter of you and of your dreams. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I would definitely. You want yeah. me to expound? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Let's expound. Let's expound. I think you're also a supporter of my dreams. <laughs> uh, I have been pursuing <gasps> medicine ever since I was born, and you came. In, <laughs> you came in, and you have pretty much just took on the journey with me. Right. And like I don't know, like that is like a good thing and a bad thing. Um, mainly because whenever I got really stressed out, he would get really stressed out and he already had, he already has work and everything to be concerned about. And so if say for instance, I had a huge test coming up, he would pretty much stay up all night with me mainly because he couldn't sleep because he was worried because I was worried. So yeah, I definitely think you're a huge supporter of my dreams. You have become a part of it emotionally, 
um, physically, financially, and everything. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you okay. remarried me, would you marry me as young as you did again, or would you wait until we got a little bit older? You know, do you ever feel like, man, I miss being single again, or man, I wish that we would have waited a little bit longer to get married? You know, I, I guess I guess those are uh, two questions. So one, do you miss being single ever? You know, and just kind of, and, 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 and not saying that you want to go out there and do your own thing, but just having your, your just, just being by yourself. You know, look, I, I have nobody to answer to, so to speak. Or I got just no like waiting a little more. Like, hey, hey, being by, myself hey, being by yourself longer. a little longer, you know. Not and, necessarily right now. Not necessarily right now. It's longer, being by yourself longer. And then, you know, if you have to do it again, would you wait a little <laughs> bit uh, until we got a little bit older to get married again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so true answer. Would I get married later? Ugh. I would say no. I would not have gotten married later. I think I would have gotten married earlier if mm. possible. But we did wait until we finished college. Why? So I don't know. Like I, I guess. Well, well, so, so, I guess so, I so, so what's the reason behind that? Why would you have gotten married earlier? So I probably would have gotten married as soon as I got out of college, just because I thought. Now look, now look, y'all. This, this is this, right this, this is her college. talking. So look, I want to put this into context. This is her talking after eleven years of marriage. Yeah. I just, so even though she gave me a C early on the fact, this is her still wanting to get married earlier to your boy now. So we gotta put that, so we might need to modify that whole grade a little bit. Oh. I think it's a little biased, but anyway. I don't yeah. know, like, I, I wouldn't have gotten married in college. I liked not being married in college. That was good, that was that was nice. Cause I lived alone, I, I think that was nice to live by myself before I got married. So I, maybe not, maybe I would have gotten married at the oh. same age. Um, I said I would have gotten married earlier because I thought that I thought we took a year off after college. Mm -mm. I don't miss being single. Uh, being single was good for the time that I was single. I right. got married when I wanted to. Right. Um, so yeah, I think I feel like we picked a good time to get married. I do miss Travis. I do miss being able to clean up and then nobody comes behind me and leave dishes on the counter and stuff, random things on the sink, towels on the floor, in the bathroom, that kind of stuff. Okay, here's my rebuttal. Okay, we got I got to get a rebuttal. Yeah. Boy, you trying to make me feel like a messy, unaffectionate mess. So, look. <laughs> yes, every now and again, when we're here, your boy leave every a plate. Every now and then? Every now and your boy will leave a plate <laughs> on the counter by the same token at night. Who's in the kitchen cleaning Sometimes. up? Sometimes. No, 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 When no, he no. doesn't fall asleep. I, I would say 60% of the time, 60, 40, your boy in the kitchen cleaning up. If I'm not cleaning up, that's when I'm having putting the children to bed. Yeah. So true. then so then let's put it in the context. It's yeah. not like I'm just right here dirtying up the place. Yeah. You know, I keep it clean because I'm a neat guy. Right. You know, I, I, you know, I I'm tell you, I'm a neat dude. All right. So anyway, moving forward. Last question. So, and, and so, this so to wrap that up, I still would have gotten married when I got married. So we got married, got married. Yeah. Right. I enjoy being married. I think it's fun. Yeah, um, well I'm glad I can make it fun for you, baby. Damn. Yo. Uh, uh -uh. See what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Ain't no way I'm trying to do nothing but show affection. You see what I'm saying? I had to show y'all, boy. But you know, to show y'all, no. boy. He put his arm around my neck and messed up my hair. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You know that can't I can't win for losing. Arm my can't neck. win for losing, bro. Can't <laughs> win for losing, bro. No, he did that on purpose. So I, I just had to show y'all the truth. He I had to wait until the camera came. No, I had to show y'all the truth out here, bro. That's how they do it, man. Mm -hmm. Look, you know you bought fake news. You want to get it all the time. You want to receive it all the time. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So look, real talk, real talk, real talk. So, knowing all the ups and downs that we've been through, babe, yeah. internally, externally, everything your boy went through, you know, um, taking into account, you know, my experiences as a black man, too. Mm. You know, you know, all that's, the ups and downs. That's deep. <laughs> it's real. It's real. You knowing um, everything we've been through in our marriage, up and down, would you marry me again, knowing the ups and downs? Okay. So, I would say, oh, this is a deep question. Travis has been through a lot. I've seen him go through a lot with people, with employers, just just a lot. And I, I couldn't imagine some of the things, I couldn't imagine going through some of the things he has gone through. It'll probably make me just break down and just cry for days and days at a time. But, but, I'm a strong woman. You're a strong man. 
And yes, mm. I would still marry you again. Mm. Mm, mm, yes, mm. I would. Mm. Knowing all the ups and downs. Knowing all the ups and downs. You want to go through the trenches with your boy again? I'm running the trenches with you. She said, I'm going to go through the trenches with you again. I would. I'd do it all over that's again. That's my down chick. And that's why I'm down for you, baby. That's why I'm down for you, bro. Yes. Hey, hey, man. You got to be a real woman to say, I'm going to go through it and marry you again, knowing the ups and downs. I never knew you, how much, real one, I never, like, I know there's a lot of racism in America, but I never knew how much, oh how much a black, a dark skinned black male it's goes real. through. Like, real. he experiences a lot of racism, real. like a lot. Micro and macro aggressions. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and it's not, you know, it's, it's racism, it's also colorism, so it's colorism not, it's not, huge. it's not, it's not just outside of the black community, it's within the black community too, you know, and, and, you know, you just gotta be strong, you yeah, just gotta you be do. strong, you know what I'm saying, especially as a, as a black man, because and there's as certain, the wife, you know, and you as do. the wife married to the black man, so overall it sounds like, you would just marry me again. I love you. You love me. Yeah. You love me. When you see him, you see me. When you see me, you see him. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know, but I like that. Just, you feel me? But anyway, um, hope you guys like this video. Drop some comments, man. Let us know if you would marry your spouse again. We definitely love to respond and um, engage with you guys. Drop some comments. Let us know what you think about the video. Let us know if you would remarry your spouse. If you're in a dating relationship, let us know how your significant other holds up based on this criteria. Would you marry them? And uh, thanks for watching. We love you guys. Until next time, see you in the next video. See you next video. Bye guys. Peace.